CEC? Seriously? Why didn't you take MPC? It has more career options. And CEC is for students who don't study well, right? I don't think you should take CEC. This is one of the most common responses for a student who is planning to take CEC. But let me tell you, they're wrong. CEC is Civics, Economics and Commerce. Right now, Civics is Political Science. Maybe we'll start calling it PEC gradually, but as of now, it is CEC. There are a lot of career options for students who want to take CEC. For example, CA, CA, CMA, BCom, BBA, or you want to get into hotel management, event management, fine arts, interior design, law, or you want to do designing an IFT or not just an IFT, right? You want to take communication design, you want to take fashion design, any of the design courses, BBA business management, if you're interested in marketing, HR, finance, entrepreneurship, sales, anything, or if you're interested in banking, if you're interested in uh, finance, if you're interested in auditing, taxation, or any of these things, take BCom. There are a lot of options under BA again. You take psychology, you take BA economics, you take uh, political science, you take history, you take archaeology and gradually you can do the masters of your own choice again, right? You can do international relations, right? Or you can do your MBA and there are multiple options for the students who are taking CEC. But the question comes down to single factor, I think, is the financial stability or the earning capability of a student who is taking CEC. Definitely. We're going to talk about that in today's video. The career options that we just discussed, we will not have so much time to discuss one by one, but treat them as the pointers and you can go to Google, you can reach out to us, we'll help you out with the different career options that are available. But let me also talk about the financial stability, the point that parents generally are afraid if you look at the financial stability or the earning potential of a student who takes CEC, I would say it is as much as a student who will take MPC. Now, you might ask me how. This is where I want to request parents and students to listen with an open mind. Student who is taking engineering Parents are generally open. Even the students are thinking beyond just Hyderabad. They are thinking to go to IIT Madras. They want to go to NIT Warangal. They want to go to IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, or Bits Pilani Pilani campus, or Amrita, or VIT in Velour. Any different location, they are ready to go. So the first thing is they are ready to break their location barriers. The second, the cost barrier. Parents are ready to spend somewhere between 1.5 lakh to 2 lakhs these days for engineering per year. If they get into a government university, that's the best thing that they can get. Uh, even then, if you look at IITs, IITs have around 1 lakh per semester today. So 1.5 lakh to 2 lakhs has become kind of very normal as engineering fees. But when it comes to a student who wants to take BCom or who wants to take BBA, the thought process is changing. Parent or the student thinks only about the colleges in the city, in Hyderabad, in Bangalore, in Chennai. You just, you just say, okay, you want to take BCom or BBA, why don't you study in, in this college, in that college? True, maybe they are nice colleges, but they are not ranked in the top 50 in the country. If you break the location barrier even for BCom, BBA or you want to take hotel management, you want to take design, art, uh, all the career options that we di discussed, that is going to help us get more options. Second, the cost barrier. Parent feels ki BCom ke liye is ke liye itta paisa kyu lagane ka? BBA ke liye itta kyu paisa lagane ka? If you're ready to invest in the education equally as you are ready to invest for an engineering BCom ke liye agar if it is costing 1.5 lakh 2 lakh BBA ke liye if it is costing 1.52 lakh you are ready to invest in that let me tell you let me assure you that the students will get 
campus placements students will get job opportunities which are equivalent to a student who is passing engineering true let's talk about bba bcom why don't you choose iam which is offering ipm integrated program for management which has bba plus mba why don't you look at saint xavier's either the mumbai one or the kolkata campus or why don't you look at christ why don't you look at symbiosis why not delhi university delhi university fee structures are very different again why don't you look at madras christian college why don't you look at uh, any other colleges just outside your own city the fees is high but if the student was taking engineering you were ready to invest but when the student is taking bcom or bba you are not ready to invest i think that is the change in thought process that we need to get whether you take mec whether you take cec whether you take mpc as long as your interest areas your abilities are matching as long as you have a guide you have a mentor who is guiding you you will reach whatever height that you want in whichever field that you select with this goal we have a b c d e at s a j c in a b c d e you have architecture bba you have clat you have design you have engineering any field our goal is very simple students who are selecting their desired fields will have to get into the top 50 colleges in the country for that particular course and for this we need to change our thought process we need to change our way of looking at things and perception